Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial we will learn that how we can upload a file in Laravel framework. These are the steps that we need to perform. First of all, we need to make a view. Then we will define a HTML form inside this view. We will make a controller and inside the controller we will write some code to upload a file. And at the last I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in the comment box also if you want. So now let's get started with uh, making a view. So just uh, collapse the all of files on the root and now let's go to the resources view and make a new file so let's say my uh, view name is upload dot blade dot php right and let's make a h1 tag and write here some text so that we can identify the file upload file or something right and uh, let's make a form again here so there is a two type inside this form that you need to just uh, mandatory to the mention method name which is post and then ink type so ink type should be the multi part form data when we are using the sending this normal data like text or something then we we don't need to define this property but when we are sending some rich data like uh, some pdf or uh, some audio video or file then we just define the multi part right and then we can just define some input fields here like uh, first input field is file and name can be like file or anything right whatever you want and again let's take uh, some br tag also so that we can just maintain some space and uh, just define a button again and write text on this button like upload file or something and now just type the button type will be submit now let's uh, look out this uh, okay so we need to define one more thing which is a csrf token right and uh, now let's uh, see that how we can just get this uh, page on the html so let's define the route here and just simply write here route view and uh, the url for this uh, route is upload and file name will be again upload right now let's uh, come on the Lara running laravel and just write here upload and we can see that we have a small form for submit and choosing the file when we just click on this choosing file we have a pop up pop up and we can select an image right and on the upload click we can upload it but for a now we did not complete this functionality that's why it will just give some errors here so just ignore it for a moment and uh, now let's uh, make a uh, controller so just clean the previous one and write here php artisan make controller controller name so let's say my controller name is upload controller hit that and you can see that created uh, controller created successfully right so now let's go this controller http controllers and here let's define a function just right here index and here you can return something for a moment we can just return some text like uh, hello from controller or something right and now let's go for the web.php and make a route for it so we need to import this file so just right here use uh, app we need to just provide this path app http controller and this controller name then http controllers oh my bad then uh, upload controller right and now define this path again for posting the data just write here route and this is the post request that's why we just mentioned the post method here right and uh, now let's uh, let's define any path we can up again define uh, upload yes two right can be uh, routes can be the same url if they have the different methods right and now just uh, simply use the path of this file which is uh, upload control colon colon class and in the second parameter we can define the index right and just uh, index will be defined this function name right everything is fine now uh, just uh, use this url as an 
uh, action of this form now let's try to upload any file so whenever I'm just using then you can see that hello from the controller that's great we can just make a connection with the controller now we need to just write the code for uploading right so just simply first of all we need to just define here request type parameter this request is coming from HTTP this class right HTTP request and dollar req and it will just get the data from the form and just simply write here dollar request file and this file name belongs to this name right if we have the docs here then we need to just mention here docs or whatever we have the name and now just put here store and inside the store we can just put here any name to this folder so let's say i just want to put here docs name as docs to the name of folder right and now let's try to upload a file just choose of any file from here and let's try to upload now we have the folder name as well as this is the file name so just go to our project like this blog storage app and here you can find our docs right so let's try to upload one more image um, let's go back here and uh, just choose any file like I want to choose that one right and just upload it now you will just find the two files inside the app docs folder so that's all for this video now it's time to the interview question which is how we can just change the this file name so when we are actually uploading this file then you can identify that we have the different file name so let's say i'm just uploading this uh, laravel 8 18 file number then this have the different name uh, when we are just upload it the file name is actually getting different so how we can just change this name when we are uploading your file name you can comment this answer in the sec comment section and thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video